Hi everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing and I'm here to do a reading for all of my cancers for the month of March. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you being here. We'll be using the Guardian Angel Tarot cards, the Flower of Life cards, and the True Love Tarot cards. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also a thumbs up for this video would be greatly appreciated. Uh, leave me a comment, too, about how you enjoyed your video. Okay, let's get into it, Cancer, and see. You've got freedom for your Flower of Life card. So, liberate yourself from the manifestations of the past from what is often called tradition. Throw open the cupboard doors to reveal the skeletons and release the crystallized views of your ancestors that have manifested as your genes. Your genes are threads of reality, Formed by the power of your ancestors' thoughts and feelings. Let us say, thank you, thank you. To all have come before me, before us, for their creations and all that they have lived. For in doing so, they gave you options and brought you to where you are now. When you were born, you arrived at a vibration of all that the generation before you wanted. You are the manifestation of the expanded previous generation. Each generation's job is to expand even more for the sheer beauty and joy of it. This is the natural flow of life. Somehow we allowed ourselves to become living statues, reenacting the experiences of the past, becoming a victim to this. Your genes are a blueprint formed by the past to give you a place to start when you arrive. Your genes do not decide anything you do. Liberate yourself and become who you know you are. You are powerful. That's awesome, Cancer. So that's just telling you to keep pushing forward and realize that you are creating your own reality and that we do have generations before us that created these beautiful lives that we have now. We came in with these genes, but the genes do not determine who you are. Okay, let's see what we got here for the Guardian Angel Tarot Cards for the month of March, Cancer. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> okay, let's see what Cancer has for the month of March. Let's see what the Guardian Angels have to say to you. I love this deck of cards. It's the Doreen Virtue deck. And it gives you little tidbits and insights. Um, and it's one of my uh, more favorite decks that I use. Let's see what we got here, Cancer. Shuffle one more time. See what comes out. Let's see what else we have for you this month, Cancer. Yes, it's going to be a good month. I'm finally going to break free from some of those generational things that have been going on. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have the Seven of Abundance. So this is about you having patience um, this month. Your dreams that you're working towards, um, they're growing slowly, but don't worry because your hard work is going to bring a bountiful harvest. You see the two kids working here um, in their garden, and they're planting their seeds, and they're starting to harvest what they planted. So um, it's going to be time for you to start preparing because as soon as you get to that place where you feel like you're almost prepared, everything's going to start moving uh, forward pretty quickly. So make sure that you feel rested and you've planned your way for whatever you are creating um, this month, Cancer, because it's going to come. Your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security, the four of action. So it looks like you've planted your seeds, and then here in March, um, you're going to be taking maybe a little bit of a break to celebrate uh, something wonderful. Maybe you're going to be buying a new home. Maybe... Um, you're going to find out that you're going to be having a child. Who knows? Um, but it looks like you're going to be celebrating this abundance. Maybe your new business starts off um, and you weren't expecting it to go off so quickly, but just plan for it. And then you have the helper of abundance. And it says, 
Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. So this is talking about whatever you are working on. Um, once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and you are ready to, and they're ready to help you out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind and loyal friend, someone with a big heart, a quick, quick wit and endless patience. Um, and I think that person could be you as long as you believe in yourself enough, Cancer, and you know that you are enough to push, push this forward. It'll be important for you to have organization to stay stable um, in this month of planning. So it says your plans are on target. It looks like you're really pushing forward. Maybe there's a business that you've been really pushing to get done. Um, it says the key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So maybe you can talk to someone who owns a business similar to what you're looking to do. Um, and then it says go within. So realizing cancer that you're an extremely intuitive person. Um, you are highly emotional. You have uh, a many, many insights that come to you. And it's time for you to maybe take a step back for a few minutes after all this planning and this working towards what you've been really focused on um, and being patient with yourself, patient enough that you can go within and you can relax for a few minutes, take a deep breath and see what you're creating. And then you have the healer of abundance. So never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. The situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. So there you go. Maybe you'll come together with someone who helps you build your business um, or what you're currently looking to do and helps you have that creative eye. Let's see what your, excuse me, your true love tarot has for you. Oh, this month definitely lots of opportunities coming in for you uh, this month, Cancer. So I'm probably, I'm thinking it's along with the business. When I use the true love tarot cards, it's more about you loving yourself, realizing that you are enough, pushing forward in that direction. This could also be about a rekindling of a relationship or you coming into a new um, relationship. But really, I just read it about yourself more than anything else because at the end of the day, it is really all about you. What else do we have for Cancer um, for this True Love Tarot for March? That one wanted to come out. Let's see what else. Do we have any more? Okay, let's do it one more time to see if there's anything else for my Cancers. Anything else? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see what else we've got. It'll be time for you to hang in there. Let's see. You have an opportunity that's coming your way. Um, you have the three of roses. So the roses are opening up and bringing new opportunities in. Make sure this with this five of shells that you don't feel disappointed in the opportunities that are coming your way because it's going to take some hard work and work to get things off the ground. But once you are able to get things off the ground. Um, make sure that you're keeping it, um, keeping your attitude right in a good place, hanging in there with yourself. Um, you have the hanged man here. And it's just saying like, hang in there. Everything's going to be okay. Um, and it might be time once you come up with these different ideas this month, you got uh, the four of wings, which is privacy. So maybe, um, you know, pick that mentor or someone you were looking to work with, but make sure that you're not pushing um, to tell everyone about your ideas, right? Sometimes it's good to keep things silent. Yeah. It'll be important that you stay silent um, to get full uh, fulfillment. And it says independence. So if you really keep this to yourself and you push forward and what the direction is for this, um, you know, whatever this, this business is, it looks like, uh, you're able to get uh, the fulfillment you're looking for. Um, and then this independence card comes up. What is independent? Let's see. 
yeah, you're going to have courage to move forward um, and just keep a really good perspective for yourself. Yeah, there's, I mean, this is the helper of action. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have time. You're going to be so busy uh, working on everything this month. So just stay assured, you know, keep a smile on your face <clears throat> and everything will work out for you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. As always, love your water and love yourself. And I will see you on the next video. I love you.